Welcome to Flavor Text, an extension of the Max Level Podcast brought to you by OP Seat. Whether you're a master or grandmaster, you can't go wrong with OP Seat, the official gaming chair of Level Down Games. Upgrade your battle station today with the best chairs in the business. Be sure to subscribe to the Max Level Podcast on Apple Podcasts or your favorite podcast app of choice to hear a brand new episode every Monday morning at 5 a.m. Eastern. On today's episode of Flavor Text, the crew talks about easy modes in gaming, inspired by a recent article that appeared on Kotaku. Support us by clicking that subscribe button, hit the like, turn notifications on, and drop us a comment down below. So for flavor text this week, we want to jump into if you oh, first of all, if you actually listened to the Max Level podcast this past Monday on the 8th, you'll have heard us talk about the Jason Schreier article from Kotaku that dealt with Anthem, Bioware, EA, everything. If you haven't heard that yet, go check it out. But I want to talk about another Kotaku article on Flavor Text this week. Brian here joined as always and as usual by uh, Frank and Sean from the Maxwell Podcast. Say hello. Hey. So J- Josh Rivera or Joshua Rivera over at Kotaku wrote an article on how an easy mode has never ruined a game. And I saw this article trending on multiple different platforms, whether that's Reset Era or Reddit. I, I've seen this floating around and it caught my attention. So I read through it. The game in question during the article is Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, arguably one of the hardest games in recent memory and definitely the most difficult from software game. A particular quote that I wanted to pull from from this particular article here is, is this one here. And then we'll kind of expand on this and, and I'll let you guys because, Frank, I know you have some things to say about this. Of course. But this article said, quote, Devil May Cry 5 clearly wants you to play stylishly and the combination of the recommended Devil Hunter difficulty and the way the game scores every combat encounter reminds you of that. But bumping down the difficulty and cheesing demons with clumsy combos doesn't ruin the game either. Adding an easy mode has never ruined a game, end quote. And another quote here says, quote, as frequent Kotaku contributor GB Doc Burford has written, players who suffer from chronic pain or significant physical disability can find the skill threshold in from games wholly insurmountable, end quote. So again, the game in question during this particular article is Sekiro Shadows Die Twice because it is such a difficult game. Now, I will say I did finish it, but it was extremely hard and definitely the hardest experience that I felt playing through a from software game. So I kind of want to get your guys' thoughts on that. And is not having an easy mode in your game a way of excluding a segment of the gaming population from getting to enjoy the story and the characters? If that's all they care about, if they don't care about the difficulty of the game, why punish that section of people. I don't care who starts. I'm all for easy modes as long as they're not forced upon you. Um, And I'll explain that in a second. But like you said, if you want to play Sekiro and you want to play on easy, the only person you're cheating, so to speak, is yourself. And it's easily remedied uh, through maybe not giving achievements for playing on a certain difficulty. If you're if you're if you're achievement hunting, if you only care about the story, you just want to see how the story plays out. Yeah, let Let there be an easy mode. Why not? What I don't like is games like the Mario series, where if you fail enough, they practically hand you the win. Like the uh, the golden uh, Tanuki suit or whatever, where it just lets you fly through the levels. (laughs) Things like that, like there's no fun to be had with that, especially if you keep throwing it in my face. But uh, yeah, easy mode is not something I normally touch. I think the last time I played easy mode in the game was guitar hero or rock band and that was just so uh i could you know kind of build my way up learning the new system the most the most recent games the ones that like failed miserably no i'm talking about the ones like a 360 i I really i'm not i'm not an easy mode guy i'm an extreme though i always go for the hardest difficulty and if i feel like i'm sucking too bad i bump it down a little bit that's just that's that's the way i play and that's that's the way i enjoy things but i i can totally understand the flip side if you want to play a game like halo 3 or so what's another popular game these kids are playing nowadays? I think anybody's playing Halo 3 nowadays, Frank. Oh, oh we're out there. There's dozens of us. Uh, Agony or Agony. Yes. Perfect example. Yeah. A game that just a game that just needs a mode in general. Not even. <laughs> <laughs> like 
I see no downside to it. Like you said, the devil may cry. Just, just go ahead and just rack up a crazy combo. Just, Who cares? Just you're, just, you're just having like, fun. Who cares? Like a, a knock around fun mode where you can just kind of blaze through. It's perfectly fine. I see no issue with that. I take no umbrage with there being an easy mode. I just, as someone who's a bit of an elitist, just turn the achievements off for them. Or, you know, don't, don't let them get certain things. Like, make me feel proud that I beat the game on, on Expert. Even though it's my experience, I still want to want that. You know? Before Sean goes, I, I want to chime in here. I don't think you should turn off the achievements for playing on an, on an easier difficulty. But I think that if you want difficulty to be somewhat of a, of a challenge in your game... As we see often, have there be difficulty trophies or achievements that way, if you if you're playing on easy, there's generally not a trophy for playing on easy. They're generally trophies are for, you know, they start out by normal, hard, brutal, whatever. So you're maybe excluding people from, say, getting the platinum trophy, but not trophies in general. You know what? When I when I started reading this and trying to think about it. There's parts of me that do want to have some sort of uh, echelon. Like if you if you beat a game on hard, you should be recognized for that. But there are limitations to people as gamers. And sometimes we don't think about it, whether it's a mental disability, uh, physical ailment. Um, rheumatoid arthritis is, a, is probably one that is starting to affect people in their, you know, our age, almost. 30s and 40s. Yeah, I was going to say, I, know, feel, I feel it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just a thing that happens. And so as people get older in gaming, you know, this is, a, this is something that's coming more to light. You, didn't, you wouldn't hear about this 15 years ago because most of the people who were in their 40s suffering from that weren't really gamers. And uh, they were rare. And now they're more common, right? So... When we talk about this stuff, it's it's definitely bringing an issue to light. I think that's kind of more of a PSA on our part, because I think all of us are for easy mode in games. If you if you buy the game, you should be able to experience the game. If you have a limitation, the fact that they're actually even thinking about that and using that as kind of an excuse or a reason or whatever you want to call it. I, I think that that's very inclusive. And so I, I like that. I think we're all really inclusive in gaming here. And there's that commercial. Oh, man, I don't remember, you know, per se, the kid's name or anything because his parents were talking about him. But it was that kid that had that Xbox controller and he was like in the chair and he had to use like his entire arm to play. And they oh, were like able, able gamers, able gamers. Able gamers. Yeah, Charity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jessica and I met them at a convention in Ohio two years ago, like the actual company. Super cool. The, they're awesome. You know what? And if people if there's a market for that, then there should be a market for modes that make the game easier. It is not indicative of a person's ability to to play a game if they play it on a certain mode. You know that, what I mean? That's like, a it, good it, point, because you, you think back to the, I, I, I never even think of that, to be quite honest. Well, that's because you're an asshole and we know that. But because <laughs> you know, I play video games to escape my world, uh, you know, so I'm very much about myself, you know? Yeah, you're an asshole. I know. I just said that. But anyway, uh, <laughs> you, you, you bring up you bring up a good point, Sean, in that someone using a controller through able gamers would not be able to play Sekiro at all. Now, I, I will tell you that there is hope if you just want to enjoy the game and the story. That's what Twitch and YouTube gaming's for. And so if people want to get on there and they want to experience a game and they just cannot play it, then there is that medium for them to enjoy. Like, for it's example, still a little more satisfying to play the game yourself, though. I agree. I agree. And you can see it on your TV and like everything's cool and you're feeling like you're a part of it. But I mean, we, we suck at certain games and we still very much enjoy watching people play them. A key example is, you know, Dead by Daylight. We played that yeah. here at Level Down Games. <laughs> we were not that great at it. Justin was good. Justin was good at it. Yeah, yeah, he's he's good. You know, I was the master of getting the, the enemy to chase me. The, you know, it's actually <laughs> terrible that you can do that because that's like the one thing you don't want is to get seen. And you were exactly the master of getting seen. <laughs> <laughs> But I, well, you got to you got to be a runner. I made him follow me to save you. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. It's it's called the peacock <laughs> method, right? It's <laughs> you know what? The only thing I'll tell you is I, I think I'm all for easy mode, just like Frank is. I think if you want to enjoy the game and you can't play it in easy mode, there are a lot of games that lend themselves to streaming. So you can do that, too. 
And sometimes in life, you know, we want to include everybody, but if it really does defy the nature of the game, then that's the choice of the developer, I guess. But if the developer wants to put it in, why should anyone take issue with it? I mean, money's money, right? Exactly. If you spend money and you have the ability, fine. If you spend money and you don't have the ability, well, then you should still be able to enjoy it somehow. They don't have on the box like, oh, you can't, you can't suck at platformers for a game. They just let you buy it. So (laughs) why can't you enjoy it? We all pay 60 bucks. Might as well uh, enjoy the game. I think a lot of this actually started because a lot of reviewers were unable to finish the game. That's hard. I no, it's it's a brutal it's a brutally difficult game. And if you're if you're sending it out there to media and they can't even finish it, we're not getting a clear picture for for those that do like to rely on reviews or critic scores to help, you know, decide their purchases like what is my what is worth my money. If a if a reviewer can't finish it, what's to say that they'll be able to finish it as well? I have no idea. Well, I'll tell you, the last thing is, you know, when we think about making things easy, I'm definitely not a proponent of the quote unquote God mode where you just run through the game and you can't die and you can't fail. That's just that's just not fun. And it cheapens the um, we we also forget that we don't have to blow through games anymore. You know, when we came out and we were kids and we were playing, we had to work at games. We spent months trying to beat games and perfect the levels and learn the game. and that's part of the experience in playing a game too. You shouldn't be able to sit down and on your first playthrough beat a game. And, and if that's a problem, then welcome to gaming. You got to practice it. I mean, that's just the way that it is. <laughs> Hashtag get good. But I will tell you, I am totally for including people if they just flat out can't get it. That would, that would be horrible to sit there and try to play a game forever. And if you have a physical or mental, you know, infirmity that you just cannot do it. Like I'll tell you right now as a PC gamer, when you have hand issues and you got to hold down the shift key and press all these buttons to like run and, and select all these different abilities. That's why Warcraft was so hard for a long time because you had literally 30 spells to play. And when WoW Classic comes out, these kids are going to have a hard day because oh, they're, I they're tell toast, you, man. They're toast. It, it's it's not the seven item rotation that you're used to anymore. But, um, you know, games don't have to be easy, but you can definitely make them more accessible. I think there's a fine line. And if if you can balance that, Hey, man, we're all for it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So I'm, I'm glad that we kind of we're all on the same page to where, you know, you know much in agreement with the article. Easy modes never actually ruin a game. They don't. So so having it there is not a negative thing at all. There should be no negative no, connotation. No, no, no mode ruins the game because uh, a game in general is your experience. You, yeah. You're not you're not cheating anyone. You're cheating yourself if you even want to consider it that, but whatever. That's stupid. It's to, to, to be to each their own. If I want to play on hard, you want to play easy, perfectly fine. We're, we're both going to enjoy the game that we paid for. Yeah, you might just get a couple additional trophies for playing on a harder difficulty if there are difficulty trophies in there. That's it. Yeah, um, I'm even against locking away parts of the story to, to the easy people. That's not fair. No, I agree with that. I, I think that would be stupid. So some games do that. Some games you can only get the sure ending by beating it on the hardest difficulty, which is not cool. That's a different topic for another day, I think. I mean, you know, you're may, potentially maybe rewarding. But then again, we're kind of going back to. Inclusion and exclusion So that that would be something to to that might be something worth exploring in the future. But uh, but for now, I mean, obviously, we are in support of this article and let I, I the think people that, play. I think exactly. I think we should open up gaming to as many people as possible, whether that's through difficulty modes or other types of accessibility, as uh, as Sean briefly mentioned for a little bit there. So, yeah, easy modes. Nope. No issues here. Thanks for checking out a new episode of Flavor Text. If you enjoyed what you just heard, be sure to click that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Leave a like and drop a comment down below. We'll see you next time.